I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and welcome to this CCNA 5-Minute Practice Exam. A little bit different format here as you take a look at some of the free tutorials and study materials we've got on our different websites and on YouTube for you. I'm going to be showing you either the output of a command or a configuration where we're missing one command or perhaps just give you a brief question about the output of a command and you'll need to supply the necessary information. So something a little different here today than the regular multiple choice because as I'm always telling my students when you're at the command line there is no multiple choice. We've got to know exactly what we're looking at. So let's take a look at question one and here simply I just need to know what command resulted in this output. And if you run into a question like this on one of my practice exams or on your CCNA exam, even if you haven't seen the output before, just take a moment and look through the output and you'll usually see some pretty good hints as to what you're looking at. And that's definitely true of question one. Now question two, I've got two questions for you on this simple config. First off, what is the net effect of the IP OSPF priority zero command that you see here on the sub interface? And secondly, in a hub and spoke network configured with OSPF, am I going to use this command on the hub, the spokes, both, or neither? So a lot going on with this important command, IP OSPF priority zero. Let's move to question three. You see an access list written here, and also you can see right under that that we're getting ready to apply that access list. What command after password Cisco would apply this access list? Question four, assuming that router three is using Del C321 and that's the only one it's using, what command would go on that sub interface line under interface serial 0 0.31 point to point to allow this router to communicate at layer two with other routers? What command would allow us to do that? And then finally, question five, I'm going to scroll down a bit for you here. What command resulted in this output? Should look familiar, even if you haven't seen the output of it. Some of the information it's giving you should look familiar to you. So if you need to scroll back on the video just a little bit and take a look at another question or two one more time, feel free. But we're going to go ahead and hit the answers here with question one. This is the output of debug IP OSPF ADJ. I usually like to use uh, real Cisco routers and switches in the videos as you well know but here we're just going to type them in on the board since we've got several different protocols and services going on here. And with OSPF priority zero or IP OSPF priority zero this command basically disqualifies this interface from taking part in the DRBDR election for that particular segment. And it's commonly used in hub and spoke networks on the spokes only, the default priority being one. So you're taking the spokes out of the equation there or out of the election. Question three, you want to watch this one because what we're doing is we're applying this to the VTY line. So we're setting this up for Telnet. And what I would do here, not putting the prompt, is the access, pardon my caps lock there, access class 99N. So it's the access class command that we're looking at here on those VTY lines. Question four, if you're using Del C321, I didn't say anything about the other routers and what their IP addresses are, but on a point-to-point -point interface in frame relay, you're not going to use the frame map command. What you're actually going to use is the frame relay interface Del C command, and here I did mention the Del C would be 321. So that's what you would need to type in there. You will not use frame map statements on point-to-point -point interfaces. Finally, this is a variation on an old friend. One of the first commands you learn or first protocols you learn about in your Cisco studies is CDP and you get used to turning it off and on globally and at the interface level and running show CDP neighbor. Well, this is show CDP neighbor detail. 
And the detail that's particularly important here is the IP address because show CDP neighbor will give you all the other information you see, the device ID, the platform of the neighbor, the interface, the whole time, all of that great information, but it will not give you the IP address of the neighbor, only show CDP neighbor detail will do that. Hope you enjoyed this five minute practice exam. The response to these has been fantastic. So it's going to be a regular series here on my website, the blog, and on YouTube as well as other video sharing sites that pick it up. And I'll see you next time. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933.